hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here i'm so happy to see you and i hope you will enjoy this video and become a member of my little family today i wanted to make a special video it's all about giving i always believe that what you give you get back 10 times more and today i will show you what i bought in order to pack a shoebox I don't have a shoebox, but we'll talk about it later. What to pack for the Operation Christmas Child for Samaritan's Purse. And if you want to see what I got, just uh, keep on watching. First, I could not find, for the love of God, a shoebox. I asked a few different shops. They say that they don't have it or maybe they don't want to give it away. I'm not sure what's happened there. I don't have any shoeboxes at home. And to make it quicker, what I decided to do is to just buy a box. Of course, you can use any shoebox. Maybe if you bought some gift, Christmas gifts for somebody and uh, you have an empty box. Uh, you may borrow that one and use a bag to pack the shoes or anything like that. What I got is two of these Christmas Eve boxes from Asda. They are two pounds. I need to remember to remove this thing. I know it's written Christmas Eve box, but they will be getting this. I'm not sure. I think they will be getting this probably after Christmas now because the, due to the lockdown the collection times have changed for England and um, let me just tell you more a little bit about this Doo -doo -doo. so the collection time for England is um, 5 to 14th of December uh, for uh, Northern Isle Ireland, Scotland and Wales you will be 9 to 16th of November. Uh, this is because of the new lockdown. The second lockdown we went in in UK and um, so I've got two of these boxes because I want to make one box for a boy and one box for a girl. When you go to the website they will tell you to choose and you write down if it's for a boy or for a girl and um, uh, we insert a link to the website in the description box so you can go and check everything that you can pack or you cannot basically you should avoid any liquids or sweets i remember in the first box that i've ever done i think it was two years no it was about four years ago when i started doing this so the first box we were okay to put toothpaste now it's not allowed or any sweets there are no sweets toothpaste any like work related items or religious related items um, all the toys they should be in good condition ideally they should be new but sometimes you know your kids may have a lot of toys that they probably never played with and they are in good condition so i'm sure maybe you can add them as well make sure they are nice and clean uh, i got my all my items from poundland this is to show that you don't need a lot of money <coughs> sorry my voice is going you don't need a lot of money to do a good thing and uh, yeah the quick story behind why i'm doing this um i mean i yes everyone should give a little happiness to a child who is less fortunate than us when i was little i grew up in um, a poor family they were like very hard times back in the days and i remember that i received two of these boxes and literally it made my day i was so happy i was a little child and i got i still remember that i got um like little balls soft balls to play a big coloring book that i also got now for the kids one of those thick coloring books that i loved so much and a pack of crayons basically 
I used to color one page a day only because I was afraid it will not last for long and I wanted to keep the joy of drawing for longer. I know we got a letter as well in there but the letter was written in English and it got lost. I didn't know English at that time. Unfortunately, I don't think we can still find it. But the coloring book, I'm sure, is still there somewhere in my parents' house. There are actually two of those because I got two boxes. And um, yeah, those boxes were my biggest Christmas presents because they, my parents could not afford big presents. We would get, me and my brother would get two little presents and then the um, sweets and an orange because i don't know we had the tradition in our family to have a big orange each and we were so happy and yeah let me just show you what i got in here and uh, i hope this will make you do the same uh, i'm not making this video for showing oh i'm like how good i am or anything like that i'm just making it to hopefully get one of you to do the same if out of all my subscribers even one or two of you will do the same thing it will mean the world to me and it will bring a smile to a less fortunate child this christmas i will insert a video or i think they have a video on their website or maybe it's also on youtube of children receiving these presents and they are so happy and jumping around even for the smallest Thing they find in their box that makes you like literally makes you cry and uh, uh, I don't know I will if I know we are in hard times now and people don't have much money but for me personally I will save money and not buy myself something or buy my children less presents because they have a tons of toys and they I always buy something for them so they are not in need of anything and I will put the money towards making another child happy and make it very Christmas more magical and I'll be rumbling for way too much way too long so let me show you what I picked up everything like I said it's from Poundland so it's pretty cheap I wanted to do the shop all to get everything in one shop you can go even cheaper because probably if you go to other shops like B&M or Homebargers, they have stuff that is less than a pound. I just wanted to make everything, wanted to buy everything from one shop. So I will get the box and while I'm showing to you what I got, I will put everything inside the box. And like I said, I am doing two boxes, one for a girl and one for a boy. And... Um, I don't know I received like a lot of pleasure trying to buy things for other children also buying boy stuff because I have two girls um, Emilia who is uh, three and a half and Thea who is one and a half and another boat stuff for boys really so first we are going to pack the stuff I got for a little boy I may actually add some stuff maybe later on because they delayed the um, collection of the boxes. So this is what I've got now. Also, just to let you know, they encourage a donation of five pounds. They will cost the they will cover the costs of shipping and handling everything because they do check these boxes. So this is why I'm telling you, please don't put anything which is not allowed. Don't put anything that they don't encourage you to put in just go on the website and check all the information there because whatever is not allowed it will be taken out and um, yeah just better don't do it let's start <laughs> this video is going to be way too long first i got one of these jumbo coloring book uh it's huge and it's a lot there are a lot of pages to be colored and um, yeah it just looks like this. this was a pound everything is a pound I think in here so first is this giant coloring book that we pack here second I got one of these packs 
we have a little monsters we have uh, two coloring books i think yeah two coloring or three one two three coloring books some maybe stickers i'm not sure and um crayons and all the all of these uh is a pound as well just put this here next i got one of these like little agendas this is so cute because we can make words or i mean i thought this was genius and i will buy one of these for my little girl as well to put it in maybe her christmas eve box i'm not sure but this looks so cool because you can detach the letters and make words on the notebook this is a notebook for them to draw or write whatever they want in here then next i got a pack of these two cars i remember that i did get one of these metal cars in my box even the most of the stuff was um, like mixed for girls and boys i don't know if they were separating it i mean very long time ago but these cars are one of these metal cars that they literally don't don't die they last forever the only thing i remember that they we their wheels may come off but when we were children we were playing with them even without any wheels and this will last longer they have a lot of other cars bigger or a set of more cars but they are plasticky so i thought that the metal ones are much better because they will last longer and they're also little so the kids can take them with them in the pockets to play next i got a block of highlighters again how cool is this i'm not going to unpack and show it to you how they look basically they stack like lego blocks or mega blocks how you call them and these are four for a pound again next for coloring i got a big a pack of crayons now i know that you can get a um, big pack of um, coloring pencils but they need sharpening and um, i'm not sure if we can put a sharpener here or not but it's much easier for kids from my experience with my two daughters to use crayons and these are pretty good because we have this in our house as well you don't need to sharpen them i know sometimes they break but the kids even use the little pieces for coloring so it's one pack of this goes here as well next a little book this is a peppa pig book i am not sure if um, they know about most of the kids all over the world know about peppa pig and even if they don't know how to read in english um my little girl my little girls both of them they don't know how to read yet but emilia will just look through the book and invent stories on her own or she will remember the story we tell her when we read it and she will pretend that she's reading the book so i put one of these books in here and i thought i will get a little teddy this was a pound as well it's a soft teddy it's super cute and uh, i thought a soft toy is cute as well and uh, they may like to play with it or sleep with it so i'll put this here next i got a pack of um, foam stickers and here there are airplanes buses cars helicopter trains stickers this will be perfect for a little boy to play i know girls will play with this as well and yeah just a pack of stickers and the last thing i got for the boys uh, box it's a pack of two brushes these are two with um what's this captain america and um, iron man for a pound and we also have the covers that you put on top so it keeps your brushes nice and clean so that's everything i got for a little boy i know the box looks kind of empty I don't know maybe i will still uh, buy something else and add it to it i would like to buy like a little inflatable um, ball and um, because i have already a new food pump but that i got i can't remember i think we ordered like a, a pool or something but we never use it it's new and i may buy um an inflatable 
football, like football ball. So this is one box and we are gonna put it down here. And now moving on to what I got for a little girl. Let me just remove this sticker just in case I forget later. And this is easy to peel off really. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, come on. Did I say easy? It's easy. It's just my nails are um, quite thick now, but I have my nails done. So, okay. For the little boy, I, little boy, for the girl, again, I got a giant coloring book, exactly the same one as the other box. I think they have, they have also some Christmas themed one. But I thought I'll just get one, a general with animals and um, we've got airplanes just so they can use it all year round. I'm sure kids don't mind what they're coloring. Then another pack, this one is for the girls, is my uh, fairy. Again, I, th oh, yeah. I can see here, these are stickers. So we've got three coloring books, stickers and some pen coloring pencils. They're actually crayons, which is great. Like I said, the crayons, I think they are much better to, for the kids to handle. Then one of these foam stickers, and this is a set of different colored stars and different size stars. I'm sure the girls will love playing with these. Again, a pack of crayons, same as in the other box. I just realized that my TV stopped working and you can kind of see my ring light in reflected in my TV. Um, I'm sorry for that. <laughs> I didn't realize it until now, but yeah, moving on. Next thing is one of these uh, note notebook. Again, the same as the one I bought for, for a boy, but this is in red. Let me put it here. A pack of highlighters. These are um, super cute. My girls have a pack of this as well. They are inside. They are bright colors. They are not um, pastel colors. It's just the packaging, and I think this is super cute. Next, again, a pack of two two brushes. This is the lol surprise with the covers as well. Then. A, book, a Peppa Pig book again. I think this was meant to go in the other book, uh, in the other box because it's blue. But I don't care. I mean, I'm just gonna put it here. So this is the dolphin, donkey, Peppa Pig book. Next, I got a little uh, pony, unicorn, pony, whatever you call them. My um, little girl calls them little pony. It has a comb inside as well and I thought this was super cute because my girls like to play with this and we also have one of these as well from Poundland and they are great great quality for a pound. Then I got some of course bows and hair stuff. This is a pack of three bows. They are quite big. They are blue. They only had the one um, blue left in the stock but these are still cute and i got this one here uh, next a pack of hair ties we have these for our girls they are perfect they hold hair behave very very well sometimes i also use it for myself because my hair ties usually disappear in a way so this is a pack of hair ties and we are one two three four in them and again, a pack of hair pins and hair ties in here. We don't have these, but they look like they are good quality, I hope. And yeah, these are super cute. And I'm sure will make um, every girl happy. And this is everything that I have to pack in this box. So I believe the boys box has 10 items. And here there are probably 12. I didn't count them yet, so got these two. Um, I will see if I can fill them up with something else. I'm not sure if they transfer anything in a different boxes, just so they all have the same size. 
I'm not sure because the shoe boxes are usually smaller than this and uh, I saw that the boxes they offer because I'm not sure probably you can order the box online because I saw some of them they all look similar so I don't know you have to have a look on their website but I bought these two and let me know in the comments if you are going to pack one of these boxes and make a little child happy you will mean the world to me uh, these times um, I mean all year round we should be considering helping less fortunate than us I know this from my own experience because we did receive quite a bit of um, help when uh, I was little I mean people donating um, clothes um, these Christmas boxes I was so happy to receive them as well and yeah just whenever you go food shopping make sure you leave a can of beans or something else maybe a pack of toiletries for the donation for the food bank because I know lots of people they said they have to go to the food bank because nowadays they lost their jobs due to the pandemic going on so yeah just grab one one item and put it in the basket it doesn't have to be an expensive item just one at a time every time you go and do your food shop just get something and leave it in the donation box um, whenever you buy your Christmas present I hope you consider buying something handmade maybe from a friend or someone around you if you go on Facebook marketplace you will see lots of people now are trying to make a bit of money and uh, do they do handmade hampers handmade little presents or tree decorations and um, yeah let's give so a little bit more this Christmas and I assure you that everything will come back whatever you give you will get back 10 times more and I'm sure of this and um, yeah that's me rambling again too much that's it for this video let me know if you are going to pack one of these I hope you do and you do a good thing this Christmas um, yeah I hope you're all safe you're having a good day if you are in the lockdown like we are here at the moment um, it's four weeks in here so I'm sure we will be able to go through and um, yeah I hope you're all well thanks for watching I see you next time love you love you bye also if you're wondering why I've got a battery in my room is because we did the unboxing video we put it up and it's so nice uh, it looks like I've got a forest in my living room and um, I need to get the decorations down from my attic and buy some more because this is a giant tree and I need more decorations so stay tuned for my Christmas tree decorations video mm -hmm.